hello everyone you are welcome back to my channel hope you are all doing good in this video i'm going to be showing you how to make princess blouse with pepper if you have not yet subscribed to my channel do click on the red button below and for those that have already subscribed i really appreciate you for your support now I have the princess that blouse here already. I've already cut it. But today we are going to sew the princess that blouse with peplum. So for us to get the amount of the fabric that we are going to use for the peplum, first of all, my we have to know the length of the blouse. The length of my blouse is... 25 inches but i've already cut the half length of it which is 17 inches so i use that one for the for the top now for us to determine how many fabric that we're going to use for the peplum now so like i told you initially that the length of the blouse is 25 so we are going to deduct 17 inches the one that i've already used for the uh, the princess out of 25 so the remaining will be eight inches so the eight inches now we are going to add one inches for the same allowance so that will make it nine so after that so we have nine inches already down now after that we have to measure the waist we have to measure the waist so after measuring the waist so we are going to divide it by six point six point two eight so my own waist is 39 inches so I will now divide 20, 39 inches by 6.28, which will give us 6.2. So remember we have 9 inches already. So we are going to add 9 inches with 6.2, which will give us 15.2 inches. So we are going to cut... 15.2 inches now for our peplum. Now, for you to know, for you to know how to fold your fabric, we are going to fold your fabric into four places. We are going to fold it into four places. So you are going to cut the amount, the amount of fabric that you need. Don't forget, I told you we are needing for 15.2 inches now for the peplum. So you are going to fold your fabric this way, like this. But before that, you have to measure it if it is if it will be enough for it or not. So we need 15.2 inches. So we are going to do that. 15.2 inches that is the measurement that we need for the peplum so this is 16 inches i think it's still okay 15.2 so this is okay let me make it 16 So this is 16, but we need 15.2. So this is 16, is okay. Now we are going to fold it into two this way. So we are going to fold it into two, making four now. So you can see that the fabric is in four places now. This is it. One one two 
three, four. The fabric is in four places now. Don't forget I told you that we are going to need 15.2 so it's okay it's more than enough so this is 20 inches now so now first of all I will mark where 50.2 inches is which is here 15.2 inches so I will now mark it round but you have to hold the tip of your tape so that it will shift if it shifts you won't be able to get the half rate number Then you come here again fifteen point two. So this is zit here. And you move it this way you move it this way I believe you can see the the line now. So the next thing now is to when I divide my waist, remember I told you the other time that my waist is 39 so when i divide my waist by 6.28 is 6.28 is do this run again so that is the radius so that is my radius Six point two, and the standard formula for cutting peplum is by dividing your waist by six point two eight. Then whatever it gives you, you are going to use it. You are going to measure it on your fabric as your red as the radius that you are going to use for your fabric to cut it out. 
Now, now this is my radius of now. So I'm going to cut this one out after cutting the first the cutting my radius out then i will as well cut my peplum out let me, now let me explain it again so that you can understand it very well now for you to know how much fabric that you are going to fold for your peplum for your peplum you have to divide your waist measurement by 6.28 6.28 so whatever you get from your waist measurement that is a number you are going to measure here at the edge of this fabric here whatever measurement you get that's what you are going to use for your radius here so, so this is my home measurement here, yeah, 6.2. My own measurement is 39 divided by 6.2 weight, which gives me 6.2, which is here. 6.2, which is here. You can see it's here now. So then I will now measure the remaining number left for me from the length of my full um, princess blouse remember i told you that the length of my full princess blouse is going to be 25 so and i've already cut away 15 as uh, sorry 17 inches out of 25 i cut 17 inches away for the half length of my princess blouse so 25 minus 17 will give you eight eight inches so you will now add one inches for your seam allowance to join the peplum with the blouse on top to join them together so you are going to use that one you are going to use the one the one inch seam which will now make it nine inches so the nine inches now you put that one aside nine inches now for you let me say it again for you to get how much peplum how much fabric that you're going to use for your peplum you have to divide your waist measurement by 6.28 so if your measurement if your waist measurement is 29 you are going to divide it by 29 by 6.28 which will give you 4.6 so you will place your 4.6 here if your waist measurement is 29 you divide it by 6.28 so the answer will be 4.6 so you are going to measure your 4.6 around here so you do it round is you mark it round but mine is 6.2 so this is my own here 6.2 you can see it. so that's how you will mark it run so the nine inches left will now be the one that you are going to cut after marking this so that's the remaining one that you are going you are now going to cut out for your peplum you know if you had nine inches plus the radius of your waist measurement so you are going to calculate both the number together that's the one you are going to use that so that's why i measure my 15.2 inches here already first before 
I cut the radios here so that there won't be any mistake. So we are going to do it that way. I think that is clear for you now to understand. Divide your waist measurement by 6.28. Then whatever answer you get, that's what you are going to use to cut your fabric out. So that is that. Now I'm going to cut this one out now. So after cutting it out now, we are going to sew it together. So let me cut it out. I'm going to cut this area out now. So I will cut this out. So, remember I told you that the half inch that we're going to use the one inch that we're going to use to to sew it together. So, so now, this is my paper now. So we are going to open one side of it. We are going to open one side of it. Now before I open it, I just want to show you how it looks. You can see it now. You can see it now. You can see the pepper. Can you see the pepper now? So this is the pepper. Now I want to cut it into two now. So I'm going to cut half of it. So this is it now. This is it. I've joined the both sides to heat. You can see it. Now the next thing now is to join the the next thing is to put now it's time to sew the dart area which I've already marked already. So now I'm going to sew it out. You can see I've already notched it here, the midpoint. So that's where I'm going to start the sewing, the sewing from. So I measure my uh, my breast point to the other breast point, which is eight. Then I had I had um, half an inch to it. That is zero point five to inch on both sides. So which is nine inches. So what I measure four and a half inches on each side. So if you want to know how to make the breast point, you can go to
Now I'm joining the shoulder together. <laughs> The next thing now is to join the back side of it to the back. Now, just to join it. Now, we'll do that now. Now, it's now to look for the midpoint of the blouse. So the midpoint is going to be here. So I'm going to notch, give it a notch. So I'm going to look for the midpoint of the peplum as well. So to be here. So the next thing right now is to join the the so i'm going to sew the side now i'm going to use and sew it by one inch is one inch in each one inch here then i'm going to sew it from here then the other side as well i'm going to sew it one inch as well here Now I've pinned the peplum to the blouse, so I use paint to pin it together. So the next thing right now is to sew it round. Then after that, I will insert the zip here. This is the space for the zip. This way, I'm going to insert insert the zip. Then the neckline here, where I'm going to use briars to tidy it up. Then after that, I will show you how it look like. Thank you. Here's the outcome of the peplum princess blouse. You can see how beautiful it is. I will try it now, now and see the final look. If you have not yet subscribed to the, my channel, please do subscribe. Thank you. Bye.